Hi, Mike Protak again, talk about some issues important to the state of Delaware and to our country. We've been spending a lot of time on domestic issues, and that's, that's probably the right thing to do at this time of the year, particularly with uh, the Delaware budget being on the threshold of um, decision or indecision, tax increases or cuts. But let's focus a little bit on foreign affairs today. Uh, most people know about the election I ran last week. Uh, a miracle happened. In just a few hours, a country of millions and millions of voters had paper ballots counted within hours proclaiming the incumbent president as a two-to-one victor. Now, that's kind of hard to believe. Paper ballots do have their difficulties. If you remember back in the 2000 election here in the United States of America, we had that issue. So I think most people realize that the election probably was not as valid as it could be, and the results will always be in question. But let's remember something. Uh, the United States of America should always stand for free elections. Unfortunately, that part of the world, you have one man, one vote, one time. And that's unfortunate. So it's great that Iran has elections. It's very unfortunate they choose to, one, they control who the candidates will be, and it appears they control how the process is decided. Now, Mr. Mousavi, who, of course, is, is the reformist candidate people talk about, let's put him in focus here for a minute. It's important not to get focused on a personality rather than a cause. Free elections are important. Mr. Musabi was one of four people approved by the Guardian Council, which is religious in nature, the clerics, to decide who was pure enough to be president of Iran. So this is a man that still supports their adventurous uh, foreign policy, still supports their nuclear program. So when he's called a reformer, he's probably better than the incumbent president, but don't think for a minute he's a soft guy that we can walk all over and certainly he might be better but that doesn't mean him to make him the prime choice. The prime effort and focus should be on free elections in an environment where everybody can say, yes, we had our say, this is what the outcome was, agree or disagree, but to have that many paper ballots counted in a matter of hours and certified by the uh, Supreme Leader, who's an Ayatollah, I think begs to most people's minds, hey, this is, this is kind of ridiculous, this wasn't uh, appropriate. Now, I think where the President, of course, the United States in, in totality should not meddle. They should not say, we want this candidate or that candidate, but we should make a very strong statement. As we've had over the years, the Presidents before have always fought very hard to make sure foreign countries know that we stand not for a candidate, but for freedom and for liberty. That's a very important concept. It's in our Constitution, it's in our Declaration of Independence, and we live in our daily lives, so we shouldn't forget that. So don't focus on Mr. Musabi, who again, uh, might be reformist in nature, but he believes in the, the Iran that we fear. Somebody with nuclear weapons, exporting some of that uh, um, ideology, and of course nuclear technology around the world. So let's focus on the important things and not worry about the things that really don't matter too much, which is the person. The cause is much more critical. Thanks for tuning in. There'll be more foreign affairs as we move on, and probably more on healthcare soon. Thanks a lot.